It is game on for 90 here in Houston, Texas. Final home game of the year for the Houston Dynamo on Halloween. Five unforced turnovers, Glenn, here in just the first seven minutes from the Dynamo. Yeah, agreed. A couple from Karaskia. That's how they get it done. Joe Corona is in a little bit of trouble here 10 minutes in. Players the Dynamo had hoped to get a lot more out of this year, no question about that. It'll be Memo Rodriguez over the top and out for the goal kick for the Colorado Rapids here in the 15th minute. In turn, Corona does. Shooting opportunity for Rodriguez. Did he get a shot off? He does. It's a hit. It's parried away at the near post by William Yarborough, who was positioned perfectly. This is good for Memo. I don't know that he needs all of those touches to get himself a clean angle. If it's just one big touch here out in front of him, gets him inside the 18, and defenders don't have a time to chance. Arasquia, Rodriguez, can Rodriguez get there? Empty net, Dorsey could try to lift it. He didn't, tried to play it on the ground with Yarborough way, way out. Karaskia, there's Coco. He's gonna try a good hit from Coco. He's right at Yarborough, he parries it to himself. A 10, ten. Yeah. and then we hear... There's a turn in the hit there. Well, Tim Parker was all over. Oh, they're so difficult to play against. Watch out. Yudas Namle has gotten in behind. Karaski is going to get an obvious yellow for this because he was running right at the Dynamo defense. Houston Dynamo Soccer brought to you by Verizon. 5G built right for soccer. Should he have taken a yellow there, Rick? Curl towards the back post. Nelson. Barrios knocked it inside. by Mark Anthony K coming back vertically, vertically to defend. Here's Mark Anthony K. Estevez gets a shot on, and it's a diving save to his left from Michael Nelson. It's a good buildup. It's a good hit. Yeah, it must be nice to be six foot five. Michael Barrios, as we know, he can hit the ball with his right foot. This time it's his left foot. Takes a perfect first touch. This is what we were talking about with Memo Rodriguez earlier. Jack Price to take the corner here. This is where they're dangerous. At the near post, it's a Bubakar. Looks like Tab Ramos really prepared the Dynamo Eddie defending corner. That was posting. Here's Rodriguez. Dorsey. Dorsey will get a great shot off and an even better save from Yarborough. That is a good hit. It had accuracy, it had power, does everything but be William Yarborough in goal. Just patient. Takes that extra touch to get himself that angle to the far post, but Yarborough looks down at Michael Nelson and says, I see you, I'm gonna one up you. And makes just as important a save. He's pretty traveled for a young guy. Of course, Tab Ramos knew him at the under 20 level. Dorsey's cross will come in. There's a hit there that's gonna go way wide. Still time. If they get a goal and tie it, they will get into the playoff picture. Six out of ten teams in the NWSL make it. Legendary goalkeeper for the Dynamo had uh, the legendary center back Eddie Robinson in front of him. <laughs> you play in League MX. Uh, you're expected to play off your line. You're expected to be Good with the ball at your feet. Memo Rodriguez here. He's got Lassiter to his right. He'll cut in on his right. It's where he likes to go, but it's red. By Yarborough. I liked how quick that delivery got in there from Ian Hoffman. Oof. the feet of Nomley. That's where you want him to have the ball. Trusty will get a shot off and in the end looking into the sun. You can't ever go wrong getting Ari Lasseter on the ball. 1v1 outside. Lasseter, layoff, Junka, shot is blocked, took a deflection and you're 
caught Estevez. It's Mark Anthony K. It's Namley now. He's creative in these areas. It's a quick turn. Oh, it's a fantastic goal. Listen, this is class. No matter how you want to say it, Namley's slip ball to Baggi, who has not had a sniff today, and his turn and hit is something special. Well, just keep an eye on the Dynamo center backs. Look how far out Alejandro, Alejandro Fuenmayor has to come. Tim Parker has to come across, which leaves a huge gap that Sam Junka just can't fill. We've spoken about it, how dangerous it is for the center backs of Houston to get pulled into that midfield. This time it leaves just enough space, but Baji. to left. Oh, oh, Verona. It's Bonia Garcia coming late. Oh, that would have been fitting if he came off the bench here and tied things up. Switch a play to Bay to Shore. He knocks it out wide. Here's Barrios. He's trying to line up. Cross comes in. Push down was Baji. Nothing there as easily handling it is Michael Nelson. Bonia Garcia still has it. Quintero. He gets fouled. It'll be a free kick. Yellow card going to come out to Cole Bassett. Basher, he has a left foot and left fly. And that's exciting. That is going to be a fine choice. Parker against Lewis. Lewis has gave him the slip here for the moment. Shots at the near post. Nelson sealed it off. Smart play from the Rapids who suck the Dynamo in. Switch the play to Bassett. Bassett to Rubio. Rubio spins. He's going to hit it. And in the end, didn't make great contact on it. And look, he's admitted. He's He said, look, I, I've made mistakes. But you wouldn't expect otherwise for a young coach, right? Well, I, and I thought it was very brave of him to step into a situation which he knew wasn't the best here coming to Houston. He had a lot of work to do. Well, first year, you got to deal with the pandemic is not the best yeah. way to go from coaching under 20s to full professionals. That's going to do it here. The Dynamo will go down 1-0 to the Colorado Rapids. The Rapids go to 16-7-10, 58 points. 